everybody, welcome to the weekly video. This week's Torah portion is Ki Tisa. I'm going to start out with telling you about Flacco the Owl. If you haven't heard about this bird, I will share with you what happened. About a year ago, some guy broke into the enclosure of this owl at um, Central Park Zoo. And, of course, the owl escaped. And... And the zoo officials were really worried. How is this owl going to survive in New York? It's never been outside of captivity. It's never hunted for food on its own. How are we going to do this? Um, they tried very hard to woo it back in, to put out food and all sorts of things. But Flacco, as it was called, would have none of that. And Flacco survived. Not just survived, it was thriving in New York. It was able to hunt for food. It sat perched atop um, light posts and buildings and would make its hooting noise or whatever it's called. Anyway, unfortunately, last week it died because it flew into a glass wall. It probably had eaten something that was poisonous, maybe a poison, poisoned rat or something, and it died. What's interesting about the story is that they were so worried. How would it survive in captivity? But it's an owl. An owl is a wild bird. An owl knows innate, deep down, how to hunt, how to survive. And it survived and it thrived. Isn't that incredible? This story, which is a bit of a feel-good story, really reminds me of our Parsha. Um, but let me share a little thing before I get to the Parsha. It also reminded me of a beautiful um, idea shared by Rabbi Adin Steinsaltz. Rabbi Steinsaltz was a tremendous scholar who um, translated the entire Talmud properly, really the first time a really robust translation of the Talmud, which took him many, many, many years. He's written a lot of books, great thinker, great Kabbalist, uh, opened schools in Israel. Really, unfortunately, he died a couple of years ago. But he, he was also, he became a chassid of Chabad of the Rebbe, Rabbi Schneerson. And he, went, and he wrote, uh, after the Rebbe died in 1994, he wrote a book and he asked a question. What was it about the Rebbe that managed to inspire so many people? So many people would come to him and ask him questions, they would be inspired, their lives would change. What was going on with that? And he said, imagine an eagle is born as a duck. Born into a duck family somehow and is raised as a duck. And it thinks it's a duck and it quacks like a duck and it hangs out with the ducks. And one day, someone comes to the eagle and says, you know, those wings, they could actually fly really, really high. You're an eagle, not a duck. At that point, the eagle can no longer think of itself as a duck. And it waves those wings and it goes high, it soars into the sky. It says, that was the Rebbe. People went to him and they understood, the Rebbe revealed within them who they really are, their true potential, the capability that we all have to reach tremendous heights, like Flacco the Isle. We're not stuck in captivity. We can do all sorts of things because that's who we are. We can reach tremendous heights and soar and grow. Which reminds me of this week's Parsha, Kitisa. The word kitisa is loosely translated as when you count the people. After the golden calf, which incidentally is written out of order, it's after the instruction to count the people, but really the counting of the people took place after the golden calf. Another story for itself, why the Torah is not always in chronological order. But after the golden calf, God tells Moshe, I want you to count the people. Why? God knows how many people there are. Ah. I need to show them my love. I want to show my love to the Jewish people. To let them know they are beloved to me. But the term kitisa means to lift up. To count would be good to say tifkod in the Hebrew. Kitisa means to lift up. We need to lift them up. We need to bring out their potential. Yes, they sinned with the golden calf. But they should know that there's tremendous potential within each of them, within each of us. We should not become despondent and say, well, this is who I am. I'm, a tr I'm in captivity. 
I'm stuck with who I am, and it's too bad. God tells Moshe, Ki tisad, Rosh B'nei Yisrael. Lift up their heads. Raise them up like the eagle. You can reach tremendous heights. Tremendous things can be accomplished. Connection with God, study of Torah, all these things are within our capability. We are not, a, we are not trapped like Flacco in a, in a, in a, in a enclosure. We can really, kitisa, we can really raise ourselves up and be re-raised up to a very high level, to very great heights, to accomplish tremendous things. And actually, just to conclude, Moshe goes and writes the second set of tablets after the sin of the golden calf. And our sages tell us that with that, they receive Midrash, they receive Talmud, they receive Agada. The original set of tablets were only going to give them the text of the Torah. The revelation of the deeper elements of Torah and the rabbinic interpretation, all that came with the second set of tablets. When the Jewish people did teshuva, when they really turned themselves around and discovered their true potential, that's when they received an even greater revelation of Torah with the second set of tablets that came to them on that Yom Kippur. With that, I wish you a good Shabbos. I'd love your comments, your thoughts, your questions, and I really hope you have a Shabbat Shalom.